Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sheikh here and welcome back to our Dental Materials Lecture Series. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of elasticity and viscoelasticity in dental materials. Elasticity and viscoelasticity are fundamental properties of dental materials that impact their behavior under load and stress. It's not just about the yield stress, it's about how materials recover and how time plays a crucial role. Let's start with elasticity. When a material is truly elastic, it undergoes complete and instantaneous recovery after the removal of an applied load. Think of it like a spring. When you pull it and then let it go, it immediately returns to its original state. So elastic behavior is like that spring you played with as a kid. It's characterized by perfect recovery and no time dependency. The extent of deformation under load is determined by the modulus of elasticity, much like the spring constant of a real spring. Now, viscoelasticity is a bit different. When a material is viscoelastic, recovery happens more slowly and some degree of permanent deformation may remain after load removal. It's similar to a dash pot, like honey flowing out of a jar when you tip it. Viscoelastic behavior is like that honey. It takes time to flow out and doesn't recover to its original state. The time-dependent aspect is akin to the way viscous materials like molasses behave. We can understand these behaviors using models. The Maxwell model combines a spring and a dash pot in series. When you apply a load, the spring extends instantly followed by slow opening of the dash pot. Upon load removal, the spring recovers but the dash pot remains distorted. The extent of distortion depends on the load and time. Now the Voigt model, on the other hand, puts the spring and dash pot in parallel. Applying a load leads to slow opening of the spring due to the damping effect of the dash pot. After load removal, both the dash pot and spring slowly recover. Recovery time depends on the load and application time, of course. Now, let's talk about practical implications. Many dental materials exhibit a combination of Voigt and Maxwell behaviors. This behavior affects materials like elastic impression materials that may become distorted when being removed over undercuts. The permanent deformation in these materials depends on the applied load, the force needed to remove the impression, and the time of application. Factors like modulus of elasticity, material thickness, and undercut severity play a significant role. So, understanding elasticity and viscoelasticity is crucial in this world of dental materials. It helps us choose the right materials and handle them correctly, especially when taking impressions. Thank you for joining me in this lecture. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more dental education content. Remember, knowledge is power, and it's the key to becoming a skilled dental professional. Until next time, this is Dr. Sheikh signing off.